Hello everyone, welcome to my new video, in this video we are going to learn about Python packages. We will explore What are Python packages? Benefits of using packages Structure of a package Importing a package Creating your own package In Python, Packages are a fundamental way to organize your code into reusable, modular components. They act like folders that group related Python modules that work together to provide specific functionality. Benefits of using packages Organization Packages keep your code base clean and well structured, especially for larger projects. You can avoid having everything in a single file making code easier to manage and maintain. Reusability, once you create a package, you can import and use its functionality in different Python projects. This saves you time and effort from rewriting common code. Sharing, you can share packages with others, or publish them on the Python package index, PyPI, for them to easily integrate into their projects. Structure of a package Directory, a package is typically represented by a directory containing Python modules, .py files. init.py file, this is an optional file, though highly recommended, that can be empty or contain initialization code for the package. Its presence tells Python that the directory is a package. Subpackages, you can create subpackages within a package by adding additional directories with their own modules and init.py files. This allows for hierarchical organization of complex functionality. Importing packages To use modules from a package in your Python scripts, you import them using dot .notation. For example, we want to import our module name functions. py from our package name my package, we can do like this. You can also create your own reusable packages to organize your code. This involves structuring your code into directories and modules as described earlier. You can then use tools like setup tools to create distributable packages for sharing or publishing on PyPI. PyPI, short for Python Package Index, is the official third-party package repository for the Python programming language. It is a central repository that hosts and distributes software packages for Python developers to use. Developers can upload Python packages to PyPI where they can be easily accessed by others. Let's create our own package with the name of calculations. On the left side, you will see all the file in your working directory. Here you will find add new folder button. Click on it to create a new folder with the name of calculations. This is our basically our package name, now we will add init.py file, so beside the add new folder icon, you will find add new file icon. Click on it and type the name underscore underscore init underscore underscore dot py. This file tells the python to consider it as a package. This file can be left empty but we generally place the initialization code for that package in this file. Now, we will add our four modules addition, subtraction, multiply and divide. So that we can keep the related functions and classes inside them. We can use these functions and classes later in our project. Our package with the name of calculations has been created with four modules and one init.py file. After creating four module files, it's time to add function inside each module. Let's define our first function add, this function will take two values x and y. And return the total after adding both values.
The second function we are going to define is subtract, which will take two values and return the result after subtracting y from x. The third function is called divide. It takes two values as input, x and y. We will add an if condition to handle division by zero. If the user enters zero for the first value, x, the function will return the error message, division by zero error. Otherwise, the function will return the result of dividing x by y. Please note that indentation is a very important concept of Python, because without properly indenting the Python code, you will end up seeing indentation error and the code will not get compiled. And our last function is multiply, which will take two values and return the total after multiplying x with y. Our package is ready to use, now we can import this package in our project. We can import the package by using import command. I am going to import all the module like addition, subtraction, divide and multiply like this. Our modules are imported in our project. Now we can use all the functions defined inside the modules can be used anywhere in this file. In order to use any function, we need to add module name dot function name to use the function defined under this module. For example we want to sum two values 10 and 20, we can use add function inside the addition module like this. Now, we want to multiply two values, we can call multiply function inside the multiply module to achieve the desired results. Same like this method, we can use divide function to divide two values. First I will check if I divide zero value with any other value then what will happen. See it's showing divide by zero error. Now I am going to enter any other value to check e whether our function is working correctly. And it's working fine. Perfect. This is how we can import and use functions from a module and use them in our project. We can also import our functions defined in any module directly by using a dot notation, we can import like this. From package name dot module name import function name. In our case, we want to import add function from addition module, we can import like this. Now, no need to add module name before calling this function, because we have imported this specific function in our project.
We need to import each function one by one, in order Tom use them in project. Python packages are essential for building maintainable, reusable, and well-structured Python projects. They leverage the power of modularity and code organization, making Python a versatile and efficient language for various development tasks. Here are the top 10 Python packages to learn in order to become a proficient Python programmer. 1. Pandas Pandas stand for Python Data Analysis Library. If you're a person who is into data science, machine learning, and data analysis you must use this package as it is used extensively in data manipulation and analysis. It has an extensive set of features that handle large data efficiently. It is well suited for different kinds of data be it tabular, SQL or Excel, JSON and allows importing data. This is one of the amazing Python packages to learn in 2024. 2. NumPy NumPy is the fundamental package for scientific computing and array processing. Libraries like TensorFlow use NumPy at the backend for manipulating tensors. It handles linear algebra, random numbers, and Fourier transforms very efficiently. It also serves as a multidimensional container for any generic data that is in any data type. 3. TensorFlow TensorFlow is also called a Google product as it is developed by Google. It provides a collection of workflows to develop and train models using Python, and to easily deploy in the cloud, on-prem, in the browser, or on-device no matter what language you use. There are three steps to act, load and pre-processes data, build, train and reuse models, and deployment. It is highly scalable, compatible, and also helps in building models easily. 4. PyWin32 PyWin32 is a must-have package, particularly for Windows Python programming. It provides access to many of the native Windows API functions, allowing you to do things like interact with the Windows registry, use the Windows clipboard, and much more. It enables you to access the Win32 application programming interface, API, on Python. It works only on Windows systems having 32-bit processors. 5. PyTest This package has a variety of modules used for testing new code which includes small unit tests and complex functional tests for applications. It helps in writing simple and scalable test cases for APIs, databases, and UIs. PyTest is a great tool for testing your programs. 6. Requests it allows you to exchange requests on the web in a more responsive and user-friendly manner using HTTP, Hypertext Transfer Protocol. HTTP works as a request response between the client and the server. The intuitive JSON method offered by this package helps you avoid manually adding query strings to URLs. 7. Seaborn With just a few lines of code, you can draw attractive statistical graphics using the Seaborn package. You can easily create complex heat maps, violin plots, joint plots, multi-plot grids, and many other types of plots with this library. It provides beautiful default styles and color palettes to make statistical plots more attractive. It is built on the top of the Matplotlib library and is closely integrated into the data structures from Pandas. 8. MoviePy this package provides a range of functionality for common tasks associated with importing, modifying, and exporting video files. It helps in inserting titles into videos or rotating videos to 90 degrees. This package aims to make visualization the central part of exploring and understanding data. 9. Pendulum When you're dealing with date and time and don't want a complex code, you can use this package. 
It manages time zones automatically and is designed to be a drop-in replacement for date time. It is a cleaner and easier way to use API. It simplifies the issue of complex date manipulations involving time zones that are not handled correctly in native date time instances. 10. Matplotlib Matplotlib is the foundation of every other visualization library. This can be used to create basic graphs like line plots, histograms, scatter plots, bar charts, and pie charts. Creating animated and interactive visualizations can be made easy using this library. It offers a great deal of flexibility in formatting and styling plots. It allows you to freely choose how to display labels, grids, and legends. Let's go through the installation and basic usage of popular Python package, Matplotlib, which is widely used for creating static, animated, and interactive visualizations in Python. In the Visual Studio Code Editor, go to View and open the terminal. Install the matplotlib package by using pip install matplotlib command. Once matplotlib is installed, you can start using it to create simple plots. Here's a basic guide on how to use matplotlib. Importing matplotlib. We are going to to use pyplot module from matplotlib package so we can import this like this. After importing the module, we will create a simple plot. And we can also create a bar chart. So friends, this is how we can install and use any Python package. Python packages are a tool for organizing, managing, and sharing code. They can help build complex applications, improve code reusability, and encourage collaboration between developers.